Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing Pea Nutty Whiskey. It's peanut butter flavored whiskey, 35% alcohol by volume, bottled by Shep P. Nutty. Mm hmm. Bottled here in Kentucky. This is the second one we've had. We've had Bird Dog, which is also bottled here, which was awful. Um, See, I, I, I hate the back of the, the, the back bottle label. Just read the first sentence off there. One fine day where I was enjoying my triple with a fistful of peanuts. I thought to myself, these two Kentucky old timers got together better than biscuits and gravy. It took a little experiment. Before you know it, I had me a batch of peanutty whiskey that was smoothier and nuttier than all get out. You might want to give her a try yourself. It's so good, it'll want to make you jump and holler. I really just wanted you to read a sentence off of there. I like the bottle. 18 bucks for the bottle, so it's a little higher, but it's still much cheaper than Screwball. Mm. My head hurts a little now. Uh, yeah, well, it's life. That's the most... I, I just... I, I hate whoever it is that wrote that on the back of the bottle. My hope is... Oh, I love that sound. My hope is... Let's make up for it a little bit. That because it's bottled in Kentucky, they have a better mash bill. Better whiskey. Nah. That sound, though. Think about all the whiskeys that come out of Kentucky. They're not all very good. Well, I mean, yeah, there are bad ones, but you know, a lot of... There's more good whiskey comes out of it than bad, if you think about it. So, uh... It's I, the same color as it is in the bottle. It's kind of light, don't you think? It has have caramel color added. Yeah, this is lighter than a lot of the other ones. It's a pretty light color. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's strong. And it's a very burny, burninating my nose holes. It smells a lot like peanut candy. Not so much like peanuts. It also smells like a little salt. Does it smell kind of salty? A little bit. It's hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. It smells like this was designed to be mixed. It's, it smells a little That's, off. It's, too. It, has it a smells a little bit of an off. Something off in there. All right, let's taste it. Do you do you get what I'm about to say? You know what I'm about to say, right? I think I know what you're about to say, but I'm about to say something different. Well, you go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is you, so oily. Yes, but what do you think I was going to say? Uh, I think you were probably going to say this tastes like peanut butter candy. Mm -hmm. Like no, it's one of my bad flavors that I used to scrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say Bananas? Beach ball. A beach ball? It's got that plasticky taste to it. It's, it tastes, no, it doesn't really taste like it. It tastes like a beach ball smells when you like, <laughs> if, it comes in, if it comes in like one of those sealed containers and you get it out and it's like folded up into a slice of pizza, It's it tastes kind of like that smell. See, it reminds me a lot of the blonde squirrel one. Man, it just. It's that, also too sweet. That rubbery scent really uh, sticks with you. It's, I've still got it. Um, it's actually it doesn't it doesn't taste as alcoholic as it smells. That is true. It's not undrinkable, but it's not good. It does taste like a peanut butter uh, like a peanut butter candy. I would say oil. it's not even average. I peanut like butter the bottle. Candy oil. The price isn't awful on it. Uh, but I would say it's not good. It's not average. Uh, I'm gonna go with a four. I could drink it. I just wouldn't enjoy it. I'm gonna give this a three and a half. It's not really good. Not not a fan. Let's see if a mixer can say it is so oily. Like I'll bet you I could put this in my car and it would work. You can put some Everclear in the gas tank. Maybe not my car. I could put this in my lawnmower and it would work as oil. More beach volley. And a little bit like of a dirty... I don't like, like the dirty, smell of dirty, this now. Dirty pee diaper. I don't like the smell of that at all. It, it does It does smell like pee. Like a pee diaper. I, I changed a lot of diapers. It smells like a pee diaper. Like a diaper with pee. My dog just pees in the living room a lot. I'm st we're still trying to train that out of the dog. But uh, uh, that, it does, that does smell like pee. I'm not interested in trying it. Go ahead and try that. It's delicious. Give her, give her, give her the old college try, Radar. Mm. Yeah, 
it's awful. It does not taste like pea smells, but it smells an awful lot like pea. It it still it tastes more like beach ball. Yeah, it smells it 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 does taste a whole lot more. We have like nine bottles of peanut butter whiskey. Mm. Right I want to point out we have two hundred dollars in peanut butter whiskey. Mm -hmm. And once we do the peanut butter whiskey off, you know what's going to happen? They're all going to sit there. And They're all just going to sit on that shelf until. Until one of us dies. All well, my neighbors like peanut butter whiskey, so I guess I can be like, you guys like peanut butter whiskey? Here's nine bottles. There go you go. Town. Just just throw them out in your backyard and be like, there's peanut butter whiskey out back. Which, what do you have? All of them? Not all of them. All of ones you can get. So, um, uh, three and a half. Except for screwball. You can't get the, you can't, you can't have the bottle of screwball. I probably, whatever one wins the, 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 <laughs> that, the peanut butter whiskey out is the one I'm going to keep, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go three and a half as a mixer. It's actually worse. Oh, I think it's probably, it's a three. I'm not enjoying this at all. Um, this is a bad, this is, this is a poor way to end the night. <laughs> yeah, well, we got, we got one more non-preview video to go. But, ah. Yeah. It's, and uh, this one's relatively hard to find, so you can get this one at, uh, Total Wine. My wife, uh. You were supposed to pick it up two weeks ago. I was, ago, yeah. I'm really glad I did not. And I made my, my wife pick it up. Very happy I didn't pick it up. And I told her I'd only pick up one or the other, but she went ahead and picked up. I would have been happy if she just picked up that Scatterbrain and mm -hmm. not this one. Uh, the nice thing is, you know, if you need it to beat somebody. That's true. That would make a good club. It's a good good bludgeoning item. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a if you're gonna have a clue party where you're just, everyone sits around and plays plays alcohol version of it's clue billy joe bob down in the holler with the peanutty oh i really just hate clubs. the back label the back label on this already makes me well, hate it number one they're trying too hard <clears throat> and also like they're missing there's if they're gonna go with this this country slang they're missing a few it looks like it looks like somebody tried to write slang but didn't know what they're like country slang mm -hmm. they tried to do it mm -hmm. they watched the beverly hillbillies like the number one, you don't say peanuts. The peanuts, peanuts. Mm -hmm. Like my this family is, is from the holiday. Someone watched the Beverly Hillbillies and they were like, "I could make a whiskey that these guys." Buy. And also, I will 100% guarantee no country folk is going to use the word experiment. Ah, uh, no, you know, you see some of that. No, you'd be fixing to make a batch. Uh, fixing to do anything. <laughs> yeah, be fixing to make a batch. If they had written the word "fixing" on here, it would have made it a whole lot more realistic. Yeah, but nobody's going to use. That. You know what? Actually. I'll rewrite your label for you um, because that wasn't written by a real person that looks like that guy. I'll rewrite that label for you uh, and make it so that I don't hate it. If you want, I'll, uh, do it for, I'll do it for free. We can go. I mean, I'm sure we can go to one of the hollers in Kentucky and have them write it up. I'm gonna go. Probably spelled the right. Was probably spelled. You know, the way it would. Be. I actually know a guy named Cletus. I'll have him write it. My grandpa's name is Cletus. <laughs> is your grandpa's name Cletus? Was well, yeah, he passed away. But yeah. Well, no, I know a guy currently who is alive named Cletus. I'll have him write yeah. that up. Yeah. We can do this. Just send me a letter. It'll be fine. Your Whatever name? company this is. Peanutty. Shepherd's Peanut. I don't even care. I have to look it up. And see who actually makes it. Yeah. Go ahead and shoot me an email. It'd be. My guess is. Mm. My guess is the Parkstown Bourbon Company because they make a lot of the weird, not good stuff. And they like to charge $149 for their mediocre bourbon, so... It's all startup money. It's 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 understandable. It's just, nah. No, I had their bourbon, and it's not $150 good. You know what's better than that? $30 Buffalo Trace. Well, they got to sell it for hundred. They got to sell it for that much so that 25 years down the road, they can make decent bourbon and actually have time to age it and treat it Did right. Did you see that Taylor or a, a Buffalo Trace stopped stop doing their Taylor series? They're, they're high-end. Really? They're ones that were unfiltered, had the, the oil on them. You know, the ones we saw, they stopped, right. they stopped making them because they cannot keep up with production. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I could see it. Uh, they probably still have some, they probably they still have some product line. They said that, that, the, bottle manufacturer, that the bottle manufacturer can no longer keep up, and then they can no longer keep up with that line because, uh, and they said they were having issues with it being bought for, you know, a $200 bottle, how much it was. That is very And true. then being sold for thousands of dollars a bottle. I mean, that's Buffalo Trace in general. They have that issue with almost all of their products. Including B Buffalo Trace, except in Kentucky. We don't have an issue getting I saw a Benchmark else, but... on the shelf for $50. Not not regular Benchmark, but... but. So, I've heard... Single barrel. 
Well, I've heard that the top shelf is super hard to find now. Like it's. it's I haven't like, seen any of that. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the. That's uh, actually. The I think floor. that is. I think that was the better of the five. Well, we only, put we only had two, but the top floor was the one that is apparently the most scarce one because that's mm. the most popular. It is. It was good. It was a good bourbon. That was a good bourbon. I I was impressed. It's not. I don't want to pay fifty dollars for it though. Well, it's 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 an eighteen dollar bottle of bourbon. People Ooh. are just price uh, gouging. This is crap. Avoid this. That is not good. No. All right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's something you like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down. Hello. My mouth still tastes weird. I'm special K. All right, radar. Thanks for